Okay, here we go. Hey, I got a new drink. Well, I guess, well, it's new for me. I don't know nothing about this. And I was at the, uh, where the heck was I? Oh, I was at Whole Foods. Um, and this thing called Five Simple, Five and Five, Simply Five Ingredients. Three trees. It's not really advertising. I get it. Let's see what's on the back here. I just want to do this. I just want to, I just want to use my, my new reading glasses I got from the VA, you know. That's why I got to go back to the VA now because I messed up reading glass. I put it down like this, like they do. Oh, boy. I can see good. Let's see. This says uh, calories, 140. I don't know what that means. Anyway, fat, uh, 12%. Saturated fat, blah, 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 5%. Cholesterol, zero. Yay! That's what we're looking for. I'm just looking for cholesterol and stuff just to cut down on the sugars, you know? Protein, eight, whatever. So it's good. Okay, ingredients. Nut and seed milk. Seed milk, and then had, uh, you know, you know the, the bracket, filtered water, almonds, or oh, that's seed, black sesame seed, almond black. Anytime they have black in something, I'm into it, you know. Black sesame seeds, dates, woo, pink Himalayan salt. Oh, this is for me. Hey, not too much. Well, the salt is all right because you know, the difference between that's they, when they say sea salt or salt. No, let me take these things off. I don't need, I don't need hey, let me put my other. My new, I like these ones now. I went back and got, I got the uh, sunglasses from the VA. Ah, I like these, man. I don't care how I look, I just like them, okay? But anytime you get salt, right? Let me say, the salt, or when they say sea or salt, that really is just, uh, you know, dried up, you know, salt. You know, sea salt, any salt, the sea salt, it's dried up things, you know? But the Himalayan salt, they say Himalayan salt. Pink salt. Let's talk about mountain salt. Like, come they don't have like uh, Kilimanjaro salt. I don't know. Anyway, that means they they've mined it. Oh, I got this thing to deal with. Oh man, Wait, I don't want to get nothing on me. Um, that means they 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 got it from from the from the mountains or whatever the mountains. And the mountains have a lot of nutrition in it. You know, like 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 I live in South Africa, right? Uh, and the soil where I'm in is like really good because you have mountains there and that water comes down through the mountains through all those mills. So, the, so the, the land there is really, when we grow our vegetables and stuff like that, like it's really, it's really good because it's all that, all that minerals and, and nutrients and all that stuff that's in the soil comes from, from the, the runoff from the water from the mountains. See what I'm saying? Uh, how, when you get the, the sea salt, the pink salt, whatever they call it, I'm going to say, start saying Kilimanjaro salt. Why? Because Kilimanjaro is in Africa. But anyway. Hey, it's got a nice little color. That's not bad. I like this. I mean, appearance aren't everything. But anyway, that means you're getting more minerals and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So rather than just getting, you know, some sea stuff, you're getting this. So let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. I can taste that almond stuff. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Ooh, that's why I do like hummus, don't I? I like hummus. Mm, wait a second. Okay, I'm a little bit loose. Just hold on a second. Mmm. <sighs> that's good. Hey, get your own black sesame seed nut and seed milk. Find it for No sugar added. Huh, find it for yourself. I am not sharing. Don't care. Huh? Don't care. Not sharing. You know, there's a lot of not sharing here. You know, uh, Elijah Cummins just died, you know. Uh, I was like, a, I just ate breakfast a little while ago. Or vegetable is stirred. I won't tell you what I ate. So, actually, not a while ago. A while ago I ate it. Then, I sort of had like a weird off day. It's not an off day because I got stuff to do. And I went back to sleep. That's the problem. Anyway, and so condolences to his family and his friends and the people who followed him. But otherwise, yo, man. I ain't got nothing to say. Of course, I don't know too much. Well, anyway, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say, I'm not, I, I'm gonna be polite and not speak ill of the dead, even though I should. Anyway, so the boy going, and um, I was thinking, say he was like, they say he was 68. I'm going like, really? He looked low, Ooh, I'm 69, so, so this, this is a problem for me. <laughs> when I say it's a problem for me, I mean not that I'm thinking it. 
coking at anytime soon. You know, I didn't live. I don't live that life. You know, or you know, going to those things, getting fed and you know, eating all that stuff, and you know, going to these little vacations and hanging around a bunch of white people and stuff like that. And and, and my my district is being really poor. You know what I mean? I ain't got no food and stuff. And good food in my district. Well, I mean, my, anyway, that's not the point. He's out there in Baltimore, isn't it? Ah. Anyway, but I was thinking back to remember I emptied my thing, my my pad. I was thinking of that, and I showed you this is a this a thing called uh, where is it at? Uh, Chimaranga magazine. What Chimaranga thing? I just had it here, didn't I? Oh, here it's Chimaranga. Remember, I told you Chimaranga. This is how it's spelled, so you can see it. It's a literary magazine. But it's after Chimaranga, which is a Shona word. Shona, think of uh, Rob Mugabe. Think of, uh, uh, you know, uh, what do you call that? Uh, um, what is Rob Mugabe? Oh, Zimbabwe. Almost forget that. Zimbabwe. And the word means uh, revolutionary struggle. That's the main meaning. But there's another meaning, which is uh, the war from within. And right now, we are, you know, the state right now, we're in a war from within. You know, we should be, uh, we should be doing, we, a lot of these politicians, they ain't did nothing. That keep on, you know, like they 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 holding hands with you know with white people in in the Congress and letting doing you know sitting down protesting whatever. Or they say they got hit in the head twenty nine years ago and it affected their brains or something like that. That should be a that should be a signal to you. Somebody said they got hit in the head. Hmm? Remember, remember the movie I told about Joker. I love this movie Joker. You know, he got hit in the head when he a lot when he was a kid, banged on the radiator and stuff like that. That boy was never the same ever since. Well, guess what? A lot of people that got hit in the head, they ain't never the same ever since. You know, like I said, a baby got you know. Yeah, did you was you dropped as a baby or something like that? Hmm. Anyway, so with this this struggle from within a lot of these politicians and stuff like that that ain't did nothing for us that's the that's the our war within forget look leave this Donald Trump thing alone leave all that stuff alone that is not our main problem right now our main problem is the people right there that our district people people that that we elected from the from the lowest level up 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 through the let me say I'm not even going up up to Senate just to the Congress this, that war within we need to clear out all these folks we need to get rid of these people that say they they are spokespeople whatever it is and they not fighting for us. That's our war right now. That's our war within right now. We got We even have a war within ourselves, within our families. We got to really deal. I'm talking about ADOS now. We got to deal with ourselves right now. When I said ourselves, I mean first yourself. You get this war within. You got to get straight what you're doing, and then and then part of the thing is what I got to um I do. Now now I'm tell you right now. If I help you along, then we went to ADOS meet up. I help you along. Um, just say the next steps. Let me let me leave the other things around. The next steps. What did it say? Next steps. Uh, study uh, www.ados101.com. That means the, the website. You know, that's the website, but, but, but you study that. Uh, you people that's on tri Twitter, I don't do Twitter. And uh, it's Facebook, I don't do that stuff. I don't, I'm not going to spend it right now. I just don't do it. All right. But, you know, uh, at Breaking Brown is, is the place you should be checking out. At Tone Talks, another place you should be checking out. Um, and they say, and other ADOS slash American DOS activists. Okay. Uh, I guess you should be checking out this channel, I suppose. I, I, I don't really advise. No, no. If you do check out this channel, I'm rambling now, as always. Don't worry about me talking. If you see my face on there, that means that's me, blah, 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 blah. There's on, on my channel, there's a thing called interviews. Go to the interview section, okay? That's where you're going to get some information of past and, and present, okay? For basic foundation on um, hashtag WADS, listen to episodes ADOS 101 on Black Civics Podcast on Anchor or Spotify. I don't know either one. I don't manage these things, you know, so I don't deal with them. Uh, uh, class is a weekly, is a session weekly. Tune into, oh, and then of course you tune into Breaking Brown uh, twice a week, you know, on Mondays and Wednesdays for us people in the East Coast right now. Um, and of course you all catch the rebroadcast. I'll say rebroadcast, but you know, the re, retransmission. Um, tune into uh, Tone Talks Radio on Fridays. Um, it's at 10, uh, Yvette's for 9, 9.45-ish. <laughs> Both on YouTube, blah blah blah. So you, you, you do do that, right? But let me go back to this warfare. So you should, so so you should be uh, dealing with that. But most importantly, right now, because we are remember we're a political group. You know, we're not going, we're not going to shoot nobody. We know, you know, we don't wish nobody dead. <clears throat> 
what we want to do is we want to get them out of there and keep people in there that's that's good. Even if you at this particular point, if you touch this bed, if you just keep on getting in their face and just say, "Hey, you know, uh, I, I see that you've been hanging out with the with, with the with the immigrant kind of crowd. That's fine, no problem. I see you've been hanging out that that's that's problem. But um, since your district is mostly you know us, then shouldn't we be at the front of your hanging out? You know, we're sort of at the front of the line, you know. So before you do, all, as you're doing this other stuff, just remember, every time, you, every time you do something, then the front of the line is where we go. And, and just, just remember these, these these things. Now, my memory sometimes, like, yes, yesterday I spoke to do the, I'm going to VA now because I can get shoes fitted because I have a problem with my feet. Okay, well, well it's a problem. And so I got to get shoes fitted, you know, and get those those funny shoes. I don't care how I look, you know. Personally, I'm, I'm old enough not to care no more, right? So I got to go down there, you know, they said, oh, man, you spending another trip. No, I'm a smart elder guy. Right. See, this is this is like a senior citizen thing. See, it says senior citizen on my Metro, on my, y'all say, oh, well, Metro card. Right. And so what this does, right, is I get half price on the thing. Now, here's what I'll do, which is slip. I'm up here, right, on 124, 124th Street. Right? I'll take the M1 bus down. Right or whatever bus is coming along, I go through, swipe it, it'll take me down to 23rd Street, right? Then I get off, right? And I go to the VA, shoe footing shouldn't take that long, get off, then I go to the train station, and whoosh, what it wishes a transfer or something, pays only, like, like I'm taking two trains, and the train station will take me to Brooklyn, which is where I gotta go to the radio station, because, oh Lord, we got problems, you know, there's outside people, again, these are outsiders coming, think, think of What's happening to ADOs here? Outsiders coming and trying to cool you. <laughs> They're trying to cool the radio station. This is absurd to me. But it's a I'm I'm living in a, a live audio drama here as I as I come trying to do my audio drama, my our audio drama <laughs> in November. This is like, oh gosh, you know. That's the other thing. My attitude to everything, everything to me is absurd. They say absurd. Right now I was listening to Kaiser report. I know I jump around, but that's what I do at Meander. <laughs> Kaiser, they talk about, you know, people invest in this fiat system and and and, and everybody um, they, they, they everybody has faith in the dollar, but meanwhile, other countries uh, they think you know, gold is the standard. So the Chinese are hoarding gold, you know, the Russians got gold, and pretty soon they're just going to take themselves off of this dollar standard because everything that goes trading through dollars, right? And just have gold as the standard, and like that, and and so whoever has dollars, hey, you you can be for a couple of years, but guess what? It's going to go. <laughs> dollar's going to be well, dollar's going to go. Let's put it that way. So can you sell some gold? I mean, I'm not into my sisters and that something like that. But back to the point. So, uh, 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 so I was so, so to deal with this cool thing. We're being cooled. Everybody, this is the age of the cool. But there's an upheaval happening right now, and you got to be on. You got to figure out what kind of upheaval you're going to be a part of. Are you going to be the people that's perpetrating the upheaval to to get, uh, or are you going to be the pe or defending the upheaval? Whatever, whatever your whatever your thing is. At this particular point, you know, we got to do that chimaranga, right? And so we got to get ourselves straight before we go out and start battling other things. So that's my little um, diatribe for the day, because <laughs> I got to go do some stuff. Maybe I'll get some interviews about the coup, put them on my, my interview channel. We'll see what happens. Anyway, that's it for me. T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a reality of the A-D-O-S. That would be the American descendants of chattel slavery. <laughs>